Today we're going to be talking about some awesome news about Clover Health stock and where this stock could be heading this week. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please comment how many shares of Clover Health stock you have and how many you want to have, and then also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the growth of the channel. And if you guys want to see what we are investing in and why, and then also you want to see our public stock portfolio, and you want a free stock that could be worth up to $70, then go ahead and sign up with public with the first link in the description. You'll be able to see our public portfolio there and exactly what we're investing in so go ahead and do that but with all that out of the way let's get straight into our stock for today which is going to be clove stock or clover health investments okay and you guys can see here that clove actually did very very well today on some awesome news that we're going to be going over later in the video up nine percent uh, we're going to be going over that news we're going to be going over their balance sheet briefly and then we're also going to be doing some technical analysis at the end of the video so if you guys want to see all of that then go ahead and stick around till the end of the video and really quickly this is what public like looks like on the desktop so if you guys could please follow us we're trying to get our follower cloud up on there uh, even if you're not going to start investing on the app at least follow us so that you guys can see what we're investing in and why but anyways let's get straight into wsbtrackers.com so this is actually a place that you can see the subreddit wall street bets um, which stocks are being talked about a certain percentage amount of the time so uh, basically amc is talked about 28 percent of the time in wall street bets while clover stock is the fifth stock and is talked about about 5% of the time, um, probably because they're up 9% on the day. But overall, this is very good for Clove stock as you know, Wall Street Bet is starting to get involved with the stock. All right, now let's get into the news for today for Clove stock. We can see here that there's one big reason that Clover Health is squeezing higher today. So investors in short squeeze hopeful Clover Health and Clove stock are seeing some pretty hefty gains today. Indeed, shares of this Medicare Advantage insurer are up more than 7% of the time of writing on a relatively flat day in the market. Now, volatile swings aren't necessarily out of the ordinary for Clove stock. After all, this is a company that has been touted as a meme stock and has traded as such. The price action with Clove stock has resembled many of the company's meme stock peers. Accordingly, uh, investors looking to take advantage of this volatility appear to be doing so right now. So one of the key reasons uh, for this is that Clover Health is expecting to release its earnings this week. The company will report, report earnings on August 11th, so that is a catalyst that they have coming up. Make sure you guys are, you know, keeping track of that. Um, and sorry, I lost my spot. After market close. Given the earnings volatility we have seen with so many stocks this year, it appears a run-up into earnings is something that investors have anticipated. Accordingly, this pre-earnings run-up seems to have started earlier this week. However, there is another big catalyst driving Clove stock today. Let's dive into what Clover Bulls are excited about right now. So we can see here that Clove stock is higher on potential Medicare expansion plan. So let's get into this. Today, two key facets of Democrats' upcoming $3.5 trillion budget um, have caught the eyes of investors of Clove stock. These include lowering of eligibility of age from Medicare from 65 to 60, um, something Joe, President Joe Biden supports. Additionally, there is a proposal for expanding services offered to include dental, vision, and hearing. For Medicare Advantage players such as Clover Health, this is uh, this announcement is broadly bullish. By expanding the eligibility requirement for Medicare, the economics of Clover model becomes more attractive um, because more prospective patients and a larger potential market mean a widening wider patient pool from which it, to generate cash flows over time. For Clove Bulls, this is very good news. Reports note that these proposals are still in the early stages of being discussed. Accordingly, a final bill may be different from what was proposed today. Uh, normally it is, by the way. However, these moves signal a bullish potential regulatory shift for investors in Clove stock. And as we have seen, any catalyst is a good catalyst these days. So um, what I took out of this is that, you know, this new trillion, $3.5 trillion budget is going to be very beneficial to close stock as long as um, the bill is still somewhat near what it is when it's actually passed through. 
and then uh, we also have a catalyst coming up on August 11th after market close kind of like how AMC killed down earnings today maybe close stock kills it and they're gonna be up um, a ton to, uh, on the 11th but yeah so we have a catalyst there and we have some awesome news today so that is why Clover is up 9% but let's get into um, the balance sheet and then after that the technical analysis we can see here on the balance sheet that uh, Clover Health has a very very strong balance sheet you can see that they have 809 million in current assets and about 173 million in current liabilities so that is almost five times uh, the amount of current assets times current liabilities it's what I love to see personally they only have about 55 million in debt nothing compared to their current assets so um, overall very very strong balance sheet and now we can get into the technical analysis so here we are for the technical analysis. So uh, before the end of today, there was a bit of consolidating going on over the past you know, week or so. Um, and we had just been trading between about 780 and about 850. And I did draw support lines earlier this week. Um, and today we ran past those support lines on this budget news. Um, so, or sorry, resistance line on this budget news. Uh, we ran past the 850 resistance line. And now we are up here in the 890 range up a percent also in post market so overall we have another resistance line here at the $10 level if we can get over the $10 resistance line before earnings and then earnings also goes really well I can see uh, clove pushing all the way up to about $12 uh, so I think from here we have at least a 30 to 40 percent upside um, just from this earnings anticipation as long as they do well if they do bad I don't see us going below eight dollars again but you know we will have to see that is pretty much going to be it for today what do you guys think um, I think we need a little bit more data uh, going into tomorrow to see if we can hold these gains uh, going into this earnings call I really hope that we can have a a great earnings call uh, coming this quarter but we will have to see what happens make sure that you guys comment how many shares of clove you have and how many you want to have and also leave a like and subscribe on the channel as it really helps with the growth of this channel we're trying to get to 10k um, by the time I leave for college which is in about a week and a half so if we could make that happen that would be absolutely insane and awesome but thank you guys so much for watching my name is Zach and I hope to see you in the next video Make sure that you guys sign up with public with the link in the description and follow us. We're trying to get our follower clout up on public. Thanks, guys.